are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. The body snatcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big body kick. finish and just misses with that big right hand oh still nice body kick. 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Punch Lance. Nice leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Unable to connect with the right. It's such a fast leg kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he misses with the left punch there. Inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Under two minutes to go. Lees has got full mount now. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Under 90 seconds now to go in round one. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Good punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Throwing with authority. Just misses there with the left. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are gonna be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice straight punch.
Nice defense there. Huge block. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Got clip with the right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, straight right. They got him. Nice punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Back and forth we go! Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Beautiful entry as he secures the double leg takedown. Just over three minutes to go. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to his feet. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Strong defense there to block the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. A strong outside leg kick there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Switching stances here. Big kick lands. to connect with the right hand there. Oh, wow! Head kick. All right, single collar tie now. One of the most important strikes to clinch is this big body shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Ooh, big shot land. Big leg kick land. with the right hand. Ten seconds remain in round two. We got to whip his hip into that kick. Let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs 
and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Punches in punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Right under the elbow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Changes his stance. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Now we'll see if he can advance position. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with that left hook. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. They continue to exchange. Big leg kick land. Went for the inside leg kick. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just missed with the left there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. 20 seconds left. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut. 
final seconds of round two. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. What a round. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice kick. Able to check that kick as well. Continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Oh, diving punch lands. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Both fighters back to their feet now. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Liver kick. Establish that jab. Oh, straight right. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Kick to the body by Lee. transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that 
all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going to come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Misses with a left hook there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to... Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Real quick leg kick. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Oh. Big kick.
Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Out of range with that kick attempt. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly, Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly.